Once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. What's going on YouTube, Diggy546? This film session is going to be Wyatt Davis. Right guard, number 52, Ohio State. He is an interesting prospect. He's someone who, from his 2019 tape, looks like a first round pick. He does have some flaws. I've been going back and forth to see, you know, if I like him or Wyatt, if I like Wyatt Davis or Eliza Vera Tucker as offensive guard number one exclusively, you know, taking away Eliza Vera Tucker's versatility, just looking at him as a guard. I've had Wyatt Davis as, as guard number one, but as I look at more and more of their tape, I think it might be Eliza Vera Tucker. I do have a film session about him up right now, but I still think that Wyatt Davis is worth a top two rounds kind of pick, and I think he'd be an option there in the second round. So the first thing that, that really sticks out to me about Wyatt Davis is his mobility. You're going to see him on a lot of these pulling guard kind of things in Ohio State's offense, and he's going to do exactly what I said. He's, he's going to pull right here, number 52, the right guard. is going to get great movement. And gets there in a hurry. Gets there in a hurry. And my issue with Wyatt Davis um, on a couple of these plays is that Wyatt Davis doesn't finish a lot of these blocks. And his man ends up being there, in there on the tackle. I would have liked for him to lay this dude out. He's got a sizable weight difference on this dude. If you don't lay him out, at least drive him out of the picture completely. And, you know, don't be in a situation where you're stumbling and you let him back into play. But other than that, I mean, he drove the guy a couple of yards and his running back was able to get some yards running right behind him. So this is kind of nitpicking things, but it's just some things that I think that Wyatt Davis can't clean up. And this is another play here where Wyatt Davis is going to get to the second level and really, you know, make this hole for his running back. Right there. No issues getting there. Makes contact. But again, I mean, it's a situation where he's not... You don't see that that impact. I mean, like, the Madden rating, impact block. You don't see that impact. You know, let, let's watch it in real time. You see him make contact, but you don't really see the consistent, you know, drive back where someone's getting blown off off of the football you just don't see that consistently on these next levels and it is I think he has the power to do it I just think he's got to get a little bit lower a lot of times his head is way too high when he's trying to do this maybe he's out maybe he's overestimating his strength but too many times I see where he could have really cleared out a lane for his running back and there was times where you know it just got crowded and his guy ended up being part of the tackle now, he's not weak by any means, but it's just something I'd like to see him get better at. You know, whether it be better drive, getting lower, whatever he has to do to get better at this. And on this play, this is this is more from what I want to see from Wyatt Davis. He's this is in his pass set. Does nothing much going on. He does a great job handing this guy off to 71. And he just doesn't give up on it and just ends up laying him out. You know, follows through and just finishes the block completely. And, you know, it end up getting a touchdown out of it. Now, where Wyatt Davis lacks in the, the impactful, violent blocking that, that really clears people out, he does make up for in technique. You're going to see a nice hip block from him. Now, I've heard hip, blo hip block before, but I'm pretty sure this not, that's not the most technical word for it. But you guys get what I'm saying. You're going to see him literally block somebody out with his hip. And... There's no issue with that. He's just going to just get on one side of 97 and just, you know, ride him out of there and get this gap open for number two, his running back. Just a nice hip block. Just keep him on your right shoulder. And that that gap is basically Wyatt Davis right here. I mean, of course, everybody else had to do their job, but he's running pretty much through Wyatt Davis and the, let's see right here. This is the center. Through Wyatt Davis in the center's lane. This this is pretty much where this play comes from. Everybody does a great job, but 
you know, he really just seals this guy off. And again, number 52, you're going to see Wyatt Davis once again make great contact and start to drive his guy off the football, but he doesn't finish it. And you get a block shed and a tackle for no gain. You just see it. I mean, great start to the play. He's driving him. He's got him off balance, but he's able to shed that block and make a nice tackle. And I mean, that's a great tackle by that uh, defensive tackle. But he's he's right here at the nose. But you just want to see him finish these plays off, hold these blocks just a second longer, because he's he's all he has no issues getting there, no issues with his technique. It's just he's got to continue to fight through these blocks. You can't just make contact and then just let the guy go. And this is what I would say is his his worst play that I've seen uh, in the past game. He's usually pretty solid in the past game. This was probably his worst play. Uh, 97 gave him, he gave him hell in the past game. And you're just going to watch 97 get under him and just bully him into the backfield until he gets a little bit of help from that center but he just pretty much bullies him so he just got to just get a little bit lower uh you know keep his keep his shoulders up <laughs> but it's a little bit harder to do when you got somebody with their hands right into your shoulder pads right inside that's all that's all football is on the defensive and offensive line getting your hands inside, getting low, and leg drive. And that's what 97 does to him. And luckily, he gets help from 71, or else he'd be on the ground and his, his quarterback would be on the ground too. So again, I, I just wanted to add this in too, just so you guys know that I don't think that Wyatt Davis is somebody that can't get movement. I just want to see him finish some blocks, and that is, you know, that's something that's fixable. But this is just another, this is just another situation where he just moved somebody. He's moving 97, who he had a pretty pretty up and down game against. 97 seems like a good player. And he just moves him. Just moves this guy. Moves him out of the way. So I mean that's that's that doesn't show that you can't, you know, that you can't get it done in the run game. He gets him completely out of there. So to wrap this video up, I wanted to show you another hip block, and this is end up this ends up being a kind of a combo block. He gets to a neck to his next block right after he makes his hip block. So let's watch this in real time. You got 52 again. He's not moving. He's the right guard, and he's just going to start this off with a nice kind of just hip block box out kind of guy. Put your shoulder on him, get that on him, and then you see him kind of. See him kind of shield this guy off, and then he gets to the 25, you know, number 25 there. And just pretty much just takes him out of there. Gets just enough on him to make him have to run his guy down. So my conclusion on Wyatt Davis is I like him in the passing game. Uh, a ton of times his, his quarterback ended up getting rid of the football kind of quick. Justin Fields got, got rid of the football quick a lot, so he didn't get a lot of long developing pass plays where you see a, a ton of a ton of chopping and you know a ton of pass reps so most of the time he was looking for somebody to block or helping out or you know a ton of things that you see a lot of guards do but I liked him and in, in the few reps that I saw of him pass protecting I, I like his mobility I like his ability to to you know be that kind of he can he can open creases up in this running game. He definitely can. He knows exactly where to be, where to place his body. I think he is a plug and play starter at right guard. My only issue with Wyatt Davis is I want to see him finish a lot more of these blocks. I want to see him be more of a mauler at that guard spot. And I just want to see him, you know, maybe add I don't I don't know if he needs to add weight, but but continue to get stronger. So that way he can be able to anchor and really be able to, you know, dig into the ground and not get pushed in some situations, in some short yardage situations. I see Wyatt Davis, you know, really getting jacked up. So you guys let me know what you think of Wyatt Davis. I think he's a good player. I did criticize him some here. 
just you know just doing what the tape is showing me but i do think he can be a top player he does have the potential especially the mobility and you know not every one of your blocks has to be a highlight block but i do want to see him finish more so if you made it this deep into the video i'm calling you a d6 squad member if you're a d6 squad member you got to hit that subscribe button you got to turn on that notification bell and listen i make all kinds of content for nfl teams so if you're not a giants fan don't worry i'll cover your team if i'm not covering your team let me know and have a good one